activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. You can't catch me, Mika. Oh, yeah? Look out for my ultimate cartwheel. Here I come. Whoa, whoa, Watch out. Whoa. 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 A secret clearing. You're right, Tabs and Debo. This does look like a perfect spot for a playground. Hmm. I wonder, what would it be like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? Great question. Let's design it and build it. All right. First, we need a big play structure. Maybe it can look like a rocket. That's a great idea, Mika. It's gonna need lots of shade. Looking great, Debo and Tabs. Hmm. Next, we'll need a zip line. Oh, yeah! And a musical bridge. Yeah! Oh, wow! We definitely need a slide. All right. Whoa! Whee! Yeah! Uh-oh, Blippi! Looks like a storm is brewing! Five minutes until rain! Oh no! We better hurry! How about a racetrack? Four minutes until rain! We definitely need a stage! Whoa! Whoa! Three minutes until rain! We definitely need a splash pool! Until rain! Ow! And we definitely need a, a ball pit. pit! Wow! Yikes! One minute to rain! Take cover, everyone! Whoa! We did it! Yar! I'm Captain Blippy. Let's set sail for the open seas. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain! Whoa! 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 Land ho! Yeah! <laughs> hmm, something is missing. That's it! <laughs> it's perfect! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? It's Blippi-tastic! Upload answer, Debo and Tabs. Awesome work, everyone! This calls for a celebration. Yeah! You're right, Debo. The snow has blocked the Blippi-mobile. Hmm, I wonder, how are we gonna get out of here? Whoa! Oh, look! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm an excavator.
seems busy and so does that one and that one too they're all so busy <laughs> well except that one those bees are busy making honey hmm I wonder how do bees make honey yes let's go into the beehive I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm wings excavator arm confirmed activate blippy station The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi. I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be! <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Got to chew. That's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha! Ha ha! I rhymed again! <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. Ah, the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Honey, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> 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 yeah! Whoa, 
Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, this place is so green. They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bai, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, Bai. Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry! Ah, uh, this cereal is soggy! Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and find out! I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm! Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> Ready for adventure! You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scoop of the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of Tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! 
It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. <laughs> Milk in command! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh, no! I got it. You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. web looks amazing! You're right, Debo! Spider webs do have such artistic designs! I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes! Let's go find a spider to ask! I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed! Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Bonjour! I'm Spencer! You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Are you about to make a web? I am! It's going to be my greatest masterpiece! The webbiest web of all time! <gasps> Want to help? Yeah! I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create! Debo, I'll be right back. Oh, Blippi, you can be my holder and tester. My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach. To a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece! Can you hold this strand in place, Flippy? Yeah! Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you! My masterpiece! Now you can test it! Bounce against it! See if it holds! Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat! <laughs> Your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, 
I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blade, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You have reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gold left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Nemo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. Uh, nice birdie! 
Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired. Time to get the mud. Mud is landing in the nest. Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch. This guy again? Oh, oh thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa, you use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody, And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo. I think it is helping build the building. Hmm. I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea. We'll go talk to the crane. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs. Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem. Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness! Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The flip 
Happy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Flippy. What's your name? Hit please the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Ha -ha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippy. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Bliffy. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can <laughs> just... <laughs> Get up! All right! Then let's bounce! Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here! I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so 
much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo. And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> Bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing I love is riding. Fast! Whee! They are so juicy and sweet! Mmm! Yeah! <gasps> oh no! We can make orange juice! <laughs> Follow me! Okay, my third favorite thing is... Musica! I love music! Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa. You're welcome, Paco. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Mmm, 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 salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? 
great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth! Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth! You're right, Tabs! We need a way to clean these teeth! Would a brush help? Hi! I'm Bill Brushy! And you are? Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Tabs! I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth! Well, you're asking the right brush! Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth! All right! Hey, Bill Brushy! Is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir! It helps keep teeth healthy and food free! Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth! Let's go to the front first! So, small circles on every tooth! Whoa! Okay, that's the front done! Let's go to the back now! We turned, we flipped! Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. <laughs>